There was much in the way of razzle-dazzle at Six Flags over Liberty Oaks this week. As you know, I am Ron McCoy, your child's fifth grade teacher. Stay tuned, I'm going to give you all of the details. What you're watching is the YouTube version of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log. The link to this version can be found in the printed version of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Log. It's a s'more newsletter. So you can watch the newsletter like you're doing right now. You can also read the text of the newsletter in the printed version. I send that to you each week as well. Either way, I've got you covered. Up next, important upcoming dates. On Thursday, September 5th, will be Culver's Night. Take your family to Culver's. A portion of the proceeds are paid to Liberty Oaks Elementary School. On Tuesday, September 10th, will be the PTA meeting. On Thursday and Friday, September 12 and 13, is Parents and Pastries. It replaces Dads and Donuts and Moms and Muffins. It takes place before school. On Wednesday, October 2nd, will be Walk to School Day. Meet by the Large Pool. Also, next week, here is our special schedule. On Monday, August 26th, will be Library Day, day one. Tuesday, August 27th, will be Music, day two. Wednesday, August 28th, will be PE, day three. Thursday, August 29th, will be Art, day four. And on Friday, August 30th, will be Library, day one. Up next, our academic accomplishments for this week. In the s'more version, the printed version of the newsletter, I have included a quick overview of each of the subject areas. I've also included most of the links to the slides and activities that your child gets to do during the week. You can also access those so that you can see exactly what your child is getting to accomplish. I'm also going to include a quick overview in this video version of the newsletter. In math, our topic is multiplicative patterns on the place value chart. In science, we're focusing on matter and its interactions, talking about the states of matter. Your child also had the opportunity to use the steps of the scientific method to design an airplane. Your child also had the chance to use science inquiry tools and conduct an Instalab called What Causes Lift, as well as make a parachute. We also focused on an introduction to the particle theory of matter featuring plaid peats particles. The big idea is how are particles different in solids, liquids, and gases. We also conducted a scientific investigation called Keep a Cube. In writing, students have begun to write their personal narratives. This week's topics are Dreaming the Dream of the Story and Let Other Authors' Words Awaken Your Own. We also had the opportunity to place narratives under the magnifying glass, looking for strengths and areas that need to be shored up. In reading, we used context clues in conjunction with the book, Can't You Make Them Behave, King George by Gene Fritz. We also read Paul Revere's Ride by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow and discussed Dangerous Crossing related to the Revolutionary War. In social studies, we have intertwined geography with the United States Revolutionary War as we plunged backward through time via a video on the big screen and via a website from the History Channel. Each day your child will get to participate in at least one read aloud 21st century style. That is, I read the book that I'm reading out loud into iMovie and then put it on YouTube. The read aloud now features closed for the season. It's about Logan and Arthur and their investigation into some mysterious circumstances involving a closed amusement park called the Magic Forest. The list of those links can be found in the small version of Mr. McCoy's weekly log. Feel free to access those and see what your child gets to see in class every single day. This Friday and every Friday or the last day of the week, your child will receive a Friday folder. In that Friday folder in the pockets are graded papers, and any pieces of information that come from our Liberty Oaks office. Please remove those graded papers and other information. Sign on the signature sheet that is clamped on the inside of your child's Friday folder, and please return that Friday folder by the following Monday so that I can go ahead and get the Friday folders ready to go for the following Friday. Yes, every Friday your child receives a Friday folder filled with all kinds of interesting information. 
This week's featured article is entitled, How to Encourage Your Child to Become a Mathematician. It offers ways to help immerse your child in the real-world aspects of math, for example, by baking. There are geometry skills used with baking. There are measurement skills used with baking, such as ounces, pounds, that kind of thing. Also, when eating out, ask your first or second grade children, or older, to estimate the bill by rounding the cost of each of the items that were ordered at the table. If your child is ready, let your child start calculating the actual percent uh, to be paid for the tip, that kind of thing. Traveling, share your travel plans with your child and ask him or her to help you make sure you arrive on time. At the very basic level for children, they can use the knowledge to find the time to figure out the need to leave the house or how long it will take to arrive at your destination. Grocery shopping, give your child a budget and one of those grocery circulars, advertisements from the Kansas City Star or one that's online. Uh, your child should make a plan and a list before going to the store. This is the perfect opportunity to show your child how to compare prices and add and subtract prices. Finding ways to apply mathematical concepts outside of the classroom that will help your child build confidence and improve their skills. Activities with real-world application will also help to build excitement around the subject and encourage children to see the world through the lens of mathematics. For the full text of that article, you can check out the printed version, the s'more version of Mr. McCoy's Weekly Law. For a window into your child's adventures in Six Flags Over Liberty Oaks, please follow us on Twitter. The link can be found in the printed version of the newsletter. My goal is to tweet at least once per day so please follow us on Twitter. Coming next week, it's issue four of Mr. McCoy's weekly log entitled Riding the Rapids. It will be delivered to you for the week ending Friday, August 30, 2019. Please tune in. I have a video version coming to you as well as the s'more printed version. The adventure continues.